We're joined this morning by Cindy Okamura from Bank of Hawaii. Cindy, we'll start with this question. It comes from Suzanne who asks, what is included in closing costs and are they negotiable? I'm sure you get this a lot, but what is included in that cost and, and does the borrower have the opportunity to negotiate this cost? Closing costs have to be disclosed by the lender and closing costs could be like your points, your appraisal fee, and your credit report and some other lender fees also. So do all of these costs come from the lender themselves? Uh, no, some of the closing costs come from a third party vendor. So that would be your credit report or your appraisal fee. Okay, so what about that? Are, are those costs negotiable at all? Sometimes they are, but uh, the closing costs for the third party vendors, they're a little bit more challenging. And so what the borrower should do if they want a side to side comparison is to determine the APR, which is your annual percentage rate. And the annual percentage rate will tell you uh, the fees are included in the interest rate. And so you can make that comparison. Right. Nice tip there. Okay, we got another question. This one comes from Jessica who asks, if I have a bankruptcy from 2008 on my credit report, will that have an impact on qualifying to buy, for an, uh, buy a new home or a new condo? Uh, there might be because what we need to determine is the seasoning period after the bankruptcy. Most lenders have that and they want to make sure the borrower reestablishes their credit after the bankruptcy. So how long is that seasoning period? Seasoning period is usually four years after the bankruptcy, but it really depends upon the lender, so it may vary. Okay. But what the, uh, the borrower should do is to get a pre-qualification to determine how well they've established credit after the bankruptcy. Lots to think about. Again, the big topic for this month is buying a new home, refinancing. For Cindy Okamura, I'm Stephen Weehawk.